that we just captured and R to generate the efficient frontier as well as identify the optimal portfolio. So this is compared to Excel, which uh, in the other series we explored on how to uh, explore how to use Excel to uh, generate the efficient frontier through the use of the solver tool within Excel. This is much easier. You'll find that R is a faster, more flexible, and more powerful tool to do this type of analysis. So the first thing we're going to do is, again, we're going to look at the return data. Uh, in, the, in the article, uh, in the previous video, we demonstrated how to download the data. So here, we're just going to, again, look at the data to make sure that it's still there. So we'll use the summary command, and we'll look at the returns function, or the returns uh, object. Uh, this is the average return for each one of these six uh, securities for this time frame on a weekly basis. So now that we've already typed in the function uh, that you'll find on the Economist at Large website, uh, the, the function which actually finds the efficient frontier, all we simply need to do is call that function and assign the output to our variable. So we'll take a look. I'm going to run this command, and it runs very fast. You'll notice that this is a much faster way to uh, solve the problem than trying to uh, run through various iterations in Solver. So the first thing you'll see is we call the function. Um, I happen to name the function um, EFF.Frontier. Uh, I have given it the uh, following arguments. The first is which, uh, what return is to look at. Um, and again, we're looking at these six. And because this object was returned by the stock portfolio package, I need to specify in the returns object to only look at the, uh, to look in the R, um, the R vector underneath. Uh, I am going to allow short selling but I am not going to set a ceiling on the allocation. So in other words, rather than saying uh, any one security can make up only less than 30% of the portfolio, here, uh, just for the sake of the illustration, I'm not giving it any ceiling. Uh, the risk premium up and the risk increment are two arguments that are given to uh, tweak the graphing of the efficient frontier. Basically, this is saying vary the risk premium from zero up to 0.5 and vary it by 0.001. So I've run this command. Now, all I need to do uh, is two things to wrap this analysis up. One is let's graph this out. So I'm going to uh, call a function called plot efficient frontier, which you'll find the code for up on the website and assign that, which is a ggplot object, back to an object that I've named g.eff. Now, before I plot it, I want to look at what the efficient portfolio actually uh, consists of. And so to do that, I run this command. This is, it's calling the EFF object, and it's finding the one line where the sharp ratio is, is the highest, or it's the maximum sharp ratio. It returns that to one single vector, which contains the efficient uh, portfolio. To see what that consists of, we simply type out the name of the object, and you can see here that uh, for the SPY, it's say approximately 31%. Uh, it's shorting EFA, and then the, uh, the rest of the portfolio is allocated uh, in this manner uh, for IWM, VWO, et cetera. The expected uh, return of 0 0.002 with a standard deviation, uh, that simply gives you the sharp ratio if you divide it out. Now let's take a look. This is the actual beauty of using R, is how fast this all is. So I'm using uh, R Studio, which is an IDE for R. Uh, you can use this, or you can just use the native R um, platform. Everything is, fr uh, both those tools are free. Uh, in this case, I simply type out the name of the uh, graph object to, to take a look at it. So we'll do that. There it is. It's as simple as that. It has mapped out, and these are actually all points along the line. Uh, I'm using an alpha to make it semi-transparent so you can see if it's grouped uh, along the line. In this case, the line appears relatively uh, even. And then I've mapped out or plotted the optimal portfolio, which is this distribution. And you can see the um, the standard deviation, which is the risk, and you can see the return as well as the sharp ratio. That's it. That's how simple it is to use R. Uh, what took uh, 30 minutes or longer in Excel, uh, just demonstrated you can do in less than five minutes.